认识，但是不要害羞啊！如果你害羞就说爆了，如果你不问问题的话，我们过的时间就不会再回答了，好吧？然后 OK， 今天你们有没有看过这个节目？都有看过对不对？就是由国啊国王马高，然后还有就是苏志成主持的，然后我自己本身也刚好那一天看到那个一凤那一集，凤姐那集哇，非常感人，有没有人看一集？有看吗？嗯，有没有？你看，我都说新加坡人就是很腼腆的，有没有？全部是在那边傻傻这样看着我。但是我从你们里面尊重，我知道你们都有看那个，啊，都是有看，都有追看，肯定大家都是很喜欢家具的东西嘛啊。所以呢，我觉得啊，我自己本身的经验就是我搬过两次家，刚才我跟你们分享过。我觉得第麻烦就等于是时间，时间就是金钱，对不对？所以呢，如果我们一来的话，我们为了要省麻烦，我们当然是要找专人，或者去去啊翻一些。啊，杂志啊，或者什么的，然后了解多一点，然后我们才去装修我们的房子，这样子就可以省很多麻烦。但是省了很多麻烦，就省了很多时间，省了很多时间呢，就省了很多钱。我就是那个什么都不管，结果住进去哇，问题多多，这个坏那个夫妻掉，窗口差点掉下去，真的我不骗你们的。但我可以跟你们学多一点啊。然后当然今天呢，我们有三个啊，讲呃三个 expert 会来跟大家一起分享。然后首先呢，啊。等一下，我们其中一个 expert 在那边聊天一下。OK， 我先跟大家说一下，就是我们的 expert， 就是从我们的那个啊，丰台坡那边的，就是有我们的那个 weekend 的代表，就是我们的，等一下我看一下 ，Christopher m i r a s 对 ，Are you ready? You ready? Yeah? OK， 首先我们掌声鼓掌，来，我们掌声鼓掌。Christopher m i r a s OK。Welcome. Oh, you can set up. There's no worry. Okay. 好的，跟大家谈一下 ，Christopher Mira， 他的来头不小啊。他其实呢，他有在，就是沙特那边做过工，然后当然有在新加坡，然后还有在菲律宾。然后呢，他所做过的东西啊，就是在他的 project 呢，就是有 Hotel Intercontinental, Palace of Prince of Saudi Arabia, and owner of Pepsi Cola. It's all big project, right? Yeah. Very big, I can tell. Prince of Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Wow. Uh, the prince is alive. It will not be that much big as the king for sure. But prince is big enough. Hold on, I get you a mic, okay? So you can speak to the audience. Help me, please. Hey. Yeah. So what do you do for the prince? So I. Uh, uh, Actually, uh, when they approach us, okay, uh, I'm working in one of the famous design firm in the Middle East. They approach us for, actually, they just started for one room. Mm -hmm. Then after that, when they realize that they have to, you know, continue, you know, doing the the, uh, the renovation or continue the interior design, mm -hmm. they ask me to complete the whole living room wow. until we complete the bedroom for the boys and the bedroom for the girls, and then they want suddenly, to be yeah, suddenly we just realize that we renovate the whole house. Oh, so from bed, from the bathroom, <laughs> yeah. then become kitchen, yeah, yeah, yeah. then become the rest of the house. That's true. Because then in the end, the palace. Yeah, that's the way you know. That, <laughs> no, that's the way they are working with the designer because they will just put your test. Yeah. When you do, when you pass the, the test, yeah, and then you develop the trust. That's the time they can continue with you. Oh, but in Singapore we can't do that, huh? Ah, because that's of the time. No, yeah. because of the time uh, limit here. Yeah. 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 But anyway, you really did a good job. That's why I did. Leave it all to you. Right? I hope so. <laughs> okay, so today you have a lot to share with us. Yeah. So I'll leave it to you. Okay. okay? Thank you. Ah. I think we're almost complete here. Or now we can start. We can start. We can start. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, my fellow designers. Uh, I want to introduce you first. You know the weekend that from how. So I'm here together with our professional designer, my fellow design consultant. I think they are very famous with you now because you're, I think you're watching Channel 8. So all those stars, okay, for the Project Home Makeover, you can go, uh, you're going to meet them here in front of you. So you can ask any personal question with them. So they're just only here, okay, aside from me. So just give me only a brief uh, introduction for our company. Wigan.com is, I think, it's one of the most strongest. That's the reason why I'm with them because I'm just only looking for one of the biggest and the strongest design firm from where I can continue my career here in Singapore, okay? So we can, we've been on the market for almost 18 years. It means more than a decade. Okay, we keep on trying to reach you 
to reach the consumer, to provide you the proper service in relation with interior design and renovation. Okay? So, it, when it comes to renovation, I think the best, the, best thing, the best thing for us to do is to look for the most suitable or, you know, the mo uh, that you're going to feel comfortable working with. Okay? And then that's the weekend. So, let's continue with the subject. Actually, uh, we had one topic here they're asking me to tackle about chip. Because everybody, they keep on talking about chip. What's the term chip when it comes to design? Okay. What is chip? Interior design trends in Singapore. Actually, chip, we are using this term in many ways. We can also see this term in fashion. Okay? But in interior design, chic is all about trends, style, you know, the smart way of doing the house. So when you're talking about chic, it means this is the smart way of decorating your house. A smart way in a way that you can have a beautiful house, at the same time it will be functional. Because there are some homeowners like, they're just only after with the looks. They don't realize that behind of it, you should, it should be practical. Okay? So when you're doing your interior design, you should be, you know, design plus function. Always bear it in your mind. Don't come to us, then just approaching us, then asking us, please, can you design our house? When you're talking about design, it means design organizing. It's not only designing about the concept. Designing means how we are going to organize your things inside your house. Okay? So one of the most important things for sure, later on I will going to tackle about the storage. Okay, so those three chip design are, you know, uh, the most, I think, popular and uh, famous uh, among those chip design. So when we're talking about urban chip, what we did here is we try to combine, you know, the local, the local version and then all those pictures that you were going to see here, locally, this, those are our projects. So we try to combine it together with, uh, you know, with, uh, in relation with the overseas project. So when you're talking about urban, urban means you are combining the contemporary, okay, contemporary with the vintage. The vintage means your antiques, you know, your antiques pieces, the furniture. So when you combine them together, okay, sometimes you don't realize that there's some concept that you're trying to do or to pursue, right? So we call it urban chip. So urban chip means we are using material like metals, okay, glass, and then wood, and then we are more on neutral colors, but strong neutral colors, not the calm one. So when you're talking about neutral colors, later I will discuss you how you are going to identify color. Neutral color means from family of beige, okay, from family of gray, okay, those are neutral colors because we have only limited neutral colors. Normally, we are using those colors to neutralize Okay, to neutralize all the accessories or design elements inside the house. So that's the reason why normally we can only have, for example, a, a white water closet, silver accent, because they are neutral colors. It means you can combine them to any colors. Okay, so it will not be complicated. That's the reason all the accessories all Okay, so let's move to the ceramic style cons. So, as I said, it's difficult to as a professional, you know, set because it needs a lot of care, okay? So, color perception, it means it's, you know, it absorbs the weather, okay? But the weather outside, it absorbs inside. So, that's only the, the disadvantage for the ceramic. The ceramic. Yeah, homogeneous marble tiles, for sure. Homogeneous and marble tiles, they have the same, uh, you know, quality. They have the same, uh, you know, uh, appearance. They have the same character. So, if you are planning to have, you know, for example, a beer and then elegant design, you have to use either marble or homogeneous because you can feel it. Then. We have an instinct to feel the material. Okay. So let's move to the next topic. Marble. Well, those are the finishes of the marble. Okay. So we have some colors, dark and light colors. Yeah. Okay. Another one, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, those are the projects from where we're just trying to show you how we combine, you know, the service together with our, uh, okay, with other materials. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the conceptualizing practical design that can last for lifetime. Actually, uh, one of the issues here sometimes is how you are going to use the kitchen countertop. Kitchen countertop, we have different types: the solid surface material. Okay, we have the natural stone, engineered stone. Okay, engineered stone, normally, you know, most of it is like, you know, the quartz. And then, it's bound to the resin, it's a combination, okay, of, of the real stone, you combine it together with the resin, we compact it, and then we have the quartz. Okay, natural stone means, some of the natural stone, like marble, right, like those are natural stone, but it needs maintenance. It absorbs color of coffee, topping, that's only the difference. It means, we can use green, Okay, in combination with the red one, it's possible. But if you don't have this knowledge, you're going to think it's a stupid, you know, move. Looks like Christmas. That's true, right? Yeah. But since people, they love to do those combinations. Okay, it's, it's, it's part. So, if you belong to this one, just follow this complement circle. It means one straight line opposite to the other, you know, to the other uh, line. It means that's a complementary. So, we have a split complementary relationship means we have one new color, okay? It's please, we have to use those color for some small, for example, small pieces of furniture, accessories. We can use those color. So we call, if we have this combination, we call this one a split color, complementary relationship, okay? But you have to be sure that when you're selecting the color, it should be equal. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's what we call the split complementary. And then let's go to the double complementary relationship. It's almost the same with this one, but we just put additional one on the other side. So we call this, so this Architect and interior designer, right? Okay, uh, you need a mind. Okay. So if you've got any painting problem, he's the one to ask you. Okay, well, what are we on? Hello. Yeah. Afternoon everyone, my name is Davis, I'm from Nippon Paint. So later I'll share with you more about paints. It's not something, it's not something new, but if you've got any questions, okay, you can ask me. I will share whatever I know with you all. I'm not so called, I'm the paint, so called your paint doctor right now for today. Okay, talking about wallpaper later, if you want to, I can share with you. Paint will face the same problem also, you will start feeling. Okay? It's only by one reason, that's moisture. Okay? It's like a roll you see where the contra? Yeah. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> okay, just how Chris has actually shared with you all on one thing that actually helped me to cover. That's what we call color wheels. First part of my presentation, we will talk about colors. Okay, we all very keen to know about colors and how color affect us. Just like for example, today all your dressing, why you choose this color or this piece of attire is because sometimes it will depend on our mood. Okay, or how we feel today. Just how Chris mentioned something about color wheels, then you'll see one round round thing with a lot of so-called opposite or you got it, monochromatic, split complementary, complementary colors, triodex, you got to take a record. Okay? That is what we need before you combine colors. Actually there's no say that. There's always a logic behind. The logic is called color wheels. Now internet is so common, Google about it, you'll see a color wheels. If not, go to any paint shop, get a Nippon catalog, at the back of it you will see color wheels also. Some brief history about Nippon paint. Nippon paint is origin from Japan back in 1981. And we are ranked the top five globally in terms of architecture coating. And yearly combined um, turnover is about five billion. Now, more interesting, we talk about colors. Okay, everyone will definitely have your favorite colors. Everyone, when you do your so called um, your planning for your interior, sometimes you are governed by one thing. I don't know how often of y'all before you all start even renovating your house, you all consult a feng shui master. Anyone do that? Me. I sorry, oh, I'm everything is me. Yeah. It's a motor tour. Okay, so to share this about this feng shui thing. My, my first one I never see any conflict. But the second one I try uh, something new to change. So I I like white colour. So my house actually already painted white. So when the feng shui master came, uh then I sir. I almost painted. Because the whole house is white. So yeah, like, 
Oh. So before you do any paint, if you want to see Feng Shui Master, don't touch anything, even the lighting, anything. Don't do anything. Let the master come and see everything, then you start doing it. Right. Okay. Thank you, Ben. Correct. Ben is right. Okay. If you decide to consult a Feng Shui Master to do your layout, and they might have some concern and some colors, certain wall, you have to do certain colors. I'm up to extreme, I consult a Feng Shui Master. I need to tilt my door, okay, my main door. Okay, you all need to know how, I can share you how to tilt the door. Huh? <laughs> okay, because why? Because when your Feng Shui Master and consult you all about certain color or certain wall, please share with your designers. Because they are around to design the stuff for you all. All we come up so they can actually recommend complementary colors for your house. Okay, anyone like blue here? I think Monday, I don't know whether it's still on or not. Huh? Everyone on Monday, blue, that we wear blue. But if one office is true, Monday, then you want to almost wear blue. Okay, but blue is a beautiful color. Okay, it actually is calm, it's cool, and it's trusting and honest. That's why Monday, maybe you want people to trust us or what, so we wear blue. Huh? Okay, and actually blue finishing gives you a few good touch. Okay? Sky blue will give you a very homely feel. And this is the so-called the range of colors we have from the paint under our catalog. Right now, right now you can take a look. The coins, the coins blue is so-called the color of the year for this year. Quite a number of international experts, they actually consider blue as the color of this year. Normally when we say color trends, when we say color trends, first thing will reflect on your fashions. Go in. right now, Chinese era, stop buying all the red clothing. <laughs> okay, when you take a lot of fashions, uh, you will see that actually they are the one who will actually drive the color trend first. Okay? You can see one departmental store, actually they promote a lot of aquamarine color or even the twice blue color. That is the color of the year. They are the first industry to adapt all this color. Paint is more laid back. Because ask yourself, anyone got colorful walls at home? Can I just have this, just do a check. Normally your wall will be white color, right? The most your goal is maybe brown color, latte color. Latte is, or gray color is the ink color uh, right now uh, for our interior design. <coughs> okay, this is a color scheme or color example how to combine or using blue color. When we say color scheme, doesn't mean only the wall. Just how um, Chris also mentioned, including your furniture, including your soft furnishing, all this will create the color scheme of a room. So we are using blue, yellow, and also lily white, which is a tinge of yellow. Next is green. Um, I don't know how often do we use green beside our mostly so-called counterpart, but seriously, but when I show a few pictures about green, you'll be, you'll be surprised that actually green is a very, very nice color. And green will actually make you more relaxing because why it's back to nature. Ben just not mentioned about the we are living in a concrete jungle. Yes, we are. That's why right now we are actually very in tune to brown color. Right now all the condos they like to face what? Either the reservoir, the sea, everything. Why? They want to let your back to nature because we are more in tune to that. Okay, this is a good combination of green, okay? You can see that actually green, uh, if a good use of it, cannot be the whole house is green, uh, by the way. You only can use certain strong colors, colors like red, yellow, green, okay? You cannot paint, the fact, you, your designer will be the best to actually advise you. You cannot paint the whole house using one color, especially one color called yellow. When you go home, you are very, very fertile. Why? Because yellow is the brightest color, later I'll touch on that. Okay? You can see that actually um, certain designers, they use green as a structure, as a design. Okay, it's quite common and it's, it can be done tastefully. Purple, who like purple? Purple, a lot of people are using purple for where? Yes, bedroom. Okay, a lot of people are using strong colors, essence color for bedroom. And your designer will recommend that to you because why bedroom is a place that we rest. We want it to be more comfortable, okay? Normally, living room, your color will be more faster. Okay? Sorry, I'm going to rush a bit, uh, just not because of crease. Uh. <laughs> okay, this, this is a typical combination of um, color scheme for bedroom. Okay? And we got beautiful colors on purple also from Nippon catalogs. Okay, red. Red, 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 red. Good use of red later, I'll show you a picture. Only red and white will actually make your room. I think everyone will wow. Anyone drive a red car here? 
Why? Because you want it to be fast, right? Uh, not to mention, uh, though I know I'm, in, I'm trying to be sensitive, uh, not that I'm not, 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 I'm not, uh, I'm insensitive, but um, recently happened a very fast car that accident here. What very near, very near, very near. Very near, very near. That's why I'm here, so you got the far. So what color is the car? It's red. Red. Or even yellow. Yep. Lamborghini is yellow. All those bright colors are associated with what? Fast. Mm. Okay? And will make you very, because they are so fast, they actually will make you fertile. Mm. Okay. Red in, in big room, okay, try not to use, remember one thing, white color is actually best used in activity area where you want to actually uh, engage in certain activity. Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, white thing, I know big room is also for certain activity, la, but I'd rather believe that you all will choose a accent color. Uh, okay, you can see actually red and white combine very well and red can actually stand out what you want to showcase. Why certain designer propose your living room to have feature wall painted darker color? Because they want that to be your attraction, okay, of your living room. Okay, you can see this. This is a simple using of red and white only for a bedroom, and it's a very classical example of a good combination of red and white. Yellow, please. I know we like bright colors, okay, but when you come to interior. You want to use a bright yellow, try to use it within the living room and not even in the kids' room. Oh, because yellow, bright color will actually be associated with activity. And your cost will take up. And yellow, yes, the brightest color in the whole color wheel is yellow. But you tone down or use using different hues of yellow, just like your lily white, body white, they are white with a bit of yellow. You can create a very homely feel. And you know this one thing? That's how um Chris talked about downlight. Downlight on two sides, right? Or your lighting, you know how many lighting you have? The colors two sides, right? What is daylight? Daylight is what type of color? What? This type of color. The other type is warm light. Warm light is yellow. Remember, color will change according to lighting. Warm light will make your wall, the color of your selection, Darker. Okay? Just a, just a rule of thumb, just a guide. Okay, orange. Orange is a golden color or green flavor color over these few years. It's commonly used on dining room and kitchen. Okay? When you say dining room, it's easy to understand because why? Orange will, or orange color will promote this um, interaction. Guide me along. When you're having so called dinner with your parents or even with your loved one, we talk, right? No one eat without talking, right? Right? We're eating, right? We're eating, right? You're 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 eating, right? you Brown, white, later I'm going to touch on brown and white and black, white and grey. This is uh, the going trench colour. How oh, I say going trench colour because uh, I'm probably more we are starting paint so I can see the same figure. Brown is moving very well because of maybe the design of certain condos because it's back to nature. Okay, this is a good combination of brown, brown colour and also red colour. If you are, you are there now, you can select a very strong red with a brown color for your bedrooms also. Black and white and grey. Sometimes, instead of using black and white or even grey, uh, you can use silver. Silver as in could be your sanitary wear, all those are our basin, all these things, to complement your white color and black color color team. Yo, you can see that out of this picture, this red cushion will actually stand out. Your black and white color team, you just have a, a bit of colors, be it red, orange, or even green. Okay, this thing will actually be the highlight of your whole living room. And sad to say that, uh, I think most of your house, because you're normally go for what type of design? Normally, your design here or what? Contemporary, uh, minimalist. Uh. All this will be what color? E. White. But white. 
not to worry because you still can use different colors to actually bring out your design. They are the expert here, ask them. Okay, so much so about color because um, color could be a very, very wrong topic. There's no right or wrong about using color. But remember one thing. If you got any feng shui advice from your feng shui master to use certain color, please highlight to your designer first. So when they are doing their designing or planning or even color scheme, they know how to actually find all this together. Um, next, I want to talk about paint. So you go see, anyone paint before? One. No one ah. Uh. Three, four, five. Okay, six. Those who raise their hand, you Okay. Maybe it's five months. No I can tell because this, this year my bonus is getting lesser and lesser. So please pay more. On average, no, you're not wrong. On average, um, Singaporean paid about three to five years. Okay, on average, uh, those more than five years, please uh, check this few years around the corner, you all know what to do. Uh. Okay, pain. How much do you know about pain? Pain actually we can categorize only in Two segments. Okay? One is water based. Sorry, I must mention about for our contact, the function of paint is very simple. It's more for decorative purpose. Paint can do a lot of more things. Just like protection. When we say protection is actually for metal for corrosion. Special effect paint, or should I say special, we have paint that actually grow in the dark. That actually we are promoting to Singapore Silver Defense for the escape room. That means under total power supply failure, the paint will grow. We also have paint that actually anti stick. You know all your columns along the walkway of MRT? A lot of people paint, right? This call tuition, la, home for rent, la, I don't know what. La. Looking for boyfriend, girlfriend, maybe you can put that also. But we have this paint that actually anti stick. That's why I say paint that is actually for special effect. We should we have paint that actually so called reflective also. Okay? But what I'm going to touch on is more on decorative paint that actually concern your. Okay, paint basically, just like I mentioned earlier, we break into two types, two categories. One is water based and one is oil based. Anyone know what's the difference? Mei Wang, how do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, just to you, I'll tell you. I'll continue to tell you. You can continue to Basically, right now, um, the government itself actually encourages us to move all these sober based paint to water based. So when you're on no oil based paint, it's actually very pungent, a choke, mm. okay, and it's very, it's not environmental friendly, mm. okay, they, they give out a lot of VOC, I don't know whether you heard of this word called VOC, volatile organic compound, okay, it's actually a harmful chemical, so pain, if, okay, later I'll share you more when it comes to my product, pain actually contains very high VOC, especially sober based, so moving forward to support the government green movement, most of the paint companies actually in Nippon they are moving our sovereign paint uh, to water base. Basically, they ask, this is what sovereign base paint for. It is for, for yes, right. it's for your doors, window grills, your pipes, okay? All these are what we consider paint that actually you need, sovereign base paint. The rest of your wall, ceiling, all these are water based. Basically, very simple. Water base, dilute with water. Dilution, you all know what dilution? Actually, add certain percentage of water to sometimes paint is too thick. So you have to add a little Ah, so it will be just how fun swap. So when base you add thin like some of the time. Thin like some of the time, you all know what? Actually, it's harmful. Harmful is one thing and also very smelly. It's a very harmful to our body. Okay, that's why the government want us to move all to water base. Okay, general coating system. Everything they have a system. Okay. Those who have paint before doesn't mean that you buy a 5 liter you start painting. Yeah. No. The proper painting system is one coat sealer. The other one, I mean Pax coat. Uh. You all know what is rockstone? Wall that actually that's texture, you all actually spray on like rockstone. That's what I call texture. But moving forward, right now for our home interior, about 10 years ago, actually rockstone actually has died down. Have you all want a smooth surface? Correct. Okay. Oh. They only just to prevent reasons. Because we did not crawl Okay, but that one still useful for exterior. Oh, okay. And actually one coat sealer and two finishing coat lah. Okay? Likewise for oil based paint for your wood and metal, it's actually one coat primer and two coat finishing. It's very simple. Paint guy, before I show you all this, those who have paint before, 
Okay? Because there's two things that actually present. One is moisture, and the other one is pores, P O R E S pores. Pores is actually airborne bacteria, that's where actually your moles are coming out. You all can solve it. Okay, very simple. They pump in have this antifungal solution that you can buy to wipe away the mole first. When you say wipe away, that means you need to kill the mole, uh, the, the mole or we call that um, fungi. Okay? You use water to clean it, you will still come back because you're not killing the fungi. Okay? What you need to do, or another way, I shouldn't be saying up here if there's any recording, use bleach, household bleach. No white colour. No record, no, no, no recording. Nippon paint and antifungal solution that y'all can buy will solve your issue. If you're not buying the antifungal solution, but it happens you find household bleach, white colour, uh, mm. please wear glove, okay, pour into a pill with a cough and wipe. When you wipe, you are killing off the fungi. Okay. After you kill off ready, okay, make sure that you have no water seepage, huh? kill off ready. Use oil based sealer and two finishing coat, you will solve the issue. Okay? But if you let your fungi or mold grow longer, that means it penetrates into your paint film, when you wipe it away, you will still be black spot. Don't be alarmed, just use the sealer and two finishing coat, will solve your issue. Okay? Yeah, actually, I also got a problem from aircon. Hey, you want to go to the house? Hey, you want to go to the house? You want to go to the Oh, you know what to do? Okay, okay. 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 When you see, how start to sell them? Oh, wow, a bit of time. No, 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 no. When you see, they actually wall or your wall, actually your wall, actually for exterior, they start to have this bubble, okay? Bubble as in, I mean, what the term, what's your tattoo, it's like, okay, bubble. Yeah, yeah, right. It's because there's water or seepage. Tight eating, you see, you water seepage. So, um, when the so-called water, or should I say, they try to evaporate or dry, it uh, mm. should force through the paint drum. Okay. So, it will create the bubble to light. Oh, then later on. It will fall down. Oh, it will fall down. 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 But so far, the history will not tell you that it will fall down. But for paint drum update, for your paint update, it's just like a piece of paper. Okay. So, water drum, the... Water try to evaporate out, so it, it force the paper to form a bubble. That's all. What you need to do, first thing first, uh, don't have any, oh, that guy is born fat, he's saying, oh, you want to cut, 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 HCB is not good for you. If you are doing the same thing, you can't do it. Sorry. You have to address to the root of the problem first. Pain doesn't work wonders, but pain can help you. But doesn't pain become waterproofing? No, Davis, you say what? I make nice already. Sealer to finish coat. Remember, pain is not waterproofing membrane. If pain can be waterproofing membrane, then waterproofing membrane will quite sure it's south the water nipple pain so please address to the root of the problem because commonly in Singapore I will highlight one more thing to you all is actually after you paint the dark colour right now especially now okay you paint the dark colour already you will see your wall got white colour patches come out I don't know actually your face is not but don't be alarmed same old thing use a small pill with a clean water and clean cloth go and wipe your wall then you check your cloth, your cloth shouldn't have any colour pigment. But the white so-called powdery substrate is gone. Okay? Why? Because it's migration of the impurity from the wall. How do we use that or we build up the wall at that time? What do we use besides cement? Sand. And sand is from where? From here. Sea is actually... Yes, Singapore rule and regulation that they have to wash 
But please, when they wash, they go through a machine, now, they won't yeah, and they're very powerful, very clean. So they have impurity and alkaline on them. So actually, our migration of all this impurity surface up. Don't be alarmed, just wipe away. Yes, it will grow more, but never mind, just wipe. Okay? Next thing. Okay, I think your whole face is flicking. Flicking is after you paint ready. Rest and hold. Okay, so you put down your hands. Put down your hands. By the 3, 2, 1, then you're ready to okay. 3, 2, 1. Ah, you. Okay. So you. must be fast, so slow, eh? Okay, so you have to wait for the whole face to be so Another chance for you. Beside aircon, the second one. Second one? Okay, now become more lively, yeah? Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. By the count, 3, yeah? 3, yeah? 3! <laughs> Choose. Who's <laughs> the fastest? Okay, the lady. The lady without the aircon. I think we should give it to her. Then it will start so flying. So we start. Okay, so aircon. Uh, another chance. You need to take water. Water heater. Yes. Water, water heater. heater. Yeah, okay. things that create a lot of heat, huh? Dryer and things like that. Okay. This is the chart from NEA, not from us, huh? So you can see that the aircon has consumed the most energy, followed by the water heaters, and third is the refrigerator. Okay? Mm. Then, uh, of course, you can see the list is here according to the percentage. Okay, aircon. Aircon control humidity, control temperature, clean the air, and distribute cool air. In other country, not just cold air, we also have heating, hot air. So if there's winter, there's heating for other country. But of course in Singapore, you only have cooling. So you can see that this is your tanker unit installed indoor. This is the outdoor unit. Okay? Anybody oh. have stayed in this house before? Me? Yeah. I stayed in my... Okay, yeah. probably many years ago. Ah, we are still young, so I have not tried. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you ask this question. <laughs> okay, there is a reason, okay, architects, okay, the designer, you can see it's actually raised. Oh. Beside flood, beside animals, <laughs> right? It's actually well ventilated. Oh. Okay, circulation. So, no aircon, so use hand, fan. Yeah. Okay, in the 1560, we have the HPV. And what type of uh, cooling system we use? Fan. fan. Electricity. Okay, the time I was born here. Yeah? Mm. Okay, there is another type of window aircon. Yeah, Not so common cool. now, right? You can see there's actually an opening on the wall. And you just install this, everything in one. Mm. I had this one very expensive. For $50, it becomes 150 really, because of this. You know why? Because it's, nobody is selling anymore. <laughs> <laughs> More people is using either split system or multi-split system. Okay? Don't buy this. Yeah. Of course, this is actually very easy just to uh, install. install yeah. So, probably for those rental mm. flats. We just uh, buy a cheaper one and then do the installation easy. Don't buy this. Okay. Anyway. okay. Yeah.